Okay, which of the following conditions can be associated with this patient's diagnosis? Um, Cushing's disease, idiopathic intracranial hypertension, um, MEN type 1, polycystic over, uh, ovary syndrome, or Sheehan syndrome. So we are literally all over the place with some neuro, some three endocrines, and one repro option. Okay, perfect. Um, a 37-year-old um, woman with a history of hypothyroidism and recent significant weight gain um, presents to the clinic for a follow-up visit. She's been experiencing headaches and visual disturbances for the past month. Um, physical exam is unremarkable. Um, laboratory tests reveal low levels of TSH, LH, and FS, um, FS, FSH. A pituitary MRI demonstrates the presence of cerebrospinal fluid within the cell uh, ter tersica, compressing the pituitary gland. And then, of course, which the conditions. So, thinking this through... Um, she's definitely like that pituitary gland compression, um, can lead to all sorts of problems, like with your hormones. Um, we don't really have like the headache can make the headache and visual disturbances make sense with the compression because you can protest, um, you can compress on the optic chiasm. Um, it doesn't really, like, if I start, like, eliminating Sheehan syndrome, we have, like, no, we have no evidence of her recently having a child, and that's usually where Sheehan comes from, if I remember right. Um, PCOS, um, yes, yeah, she has weight gain, but she really doesn't have, like, any difficulty conceiving or anything, like, her um, anything like uh, her MEN type 1 cancers or anything like that. So I'd pick an idiopathic intracranial Okay. Um, so I think I like the way you work through this. I'm going to just make it a little bit more, you know, concise for you. Okay. <laughs> no, for sure. So let's talk about it. So it yeah. says, you know, which of the following conditions can be associated with this patient's diagnosis. So like you said, right, it's, you know, some endocrine here, you know, some neuro, right, a little bit of repro, right. So it's kind of all over the place, right. But when you look at it, 37 year old woman already female, younger female, right? History of hypothyroidism, uh, recent significant weight gain presents a claim for a follow up. So, hypothyroidism, right? You can have, you know, increased risk of diabetes, right? Obesity, things like that, because your metabolism is low. So, you should be thinking about that. She's experiencing headaches and visual disturbances for the past month. Physical exam is unremarkable. Lab test reveals low so, uh, serum levels of TSH, LH, FSH. Right, which, you know, that kind of deals with the pituitary, right? MRI, uh, a pituitary MRI reviews presence of CSF within the cell tersica, compressing the pituitary gland, right? So you know that there's pressure, right? The CSF is actually pushing on and there's pressure that's, um, that's compressing the pituitary gland, which over time with compressive symptoms and a lot of pressure that can cause a lot of disruption to the pituitary gland. So which of the following conditions could be associated with this patient's diagnosis? Right. So talking about that in Cushing's disease, right? Cushing disease is not going to cause you, you can have obesity, you know, moon facies, things like that, right? It's usually caused by a tumor, right? Not per se CSF that's pushing onto the pituitary. So unlikely there. In the end, neoplasia is type one, right? So this deals with kind of all sorts of things, right? Not just isolate to the pituitary, but you can have, um, other symptoms, right, within the MEN syndromes, right, polycystic ovarian kidney disease, we don't talk about any of the cysts of the ovaries, right, you don't talk about, you know, the uh, FA, uh, LSA, uh, 
LH, FSH kind of ratio. Um, you don't talk about the hertuism that comes with it, so unlikely. And then Sheehan syndrome, right? You don't talk about kind of pregnancy delivery and kind of the loss of the function of the petusia. So most likely is idiopathic intracranial hypertension. What was the old name for this? Do you remember? I have never heard an old name for that. <laughs> okay, pseudo tumor. Cerebri. Okay. Okay. There's an old name for it. Um, it it's uh, for some reason, you know, it's an old name for it, but just so you can remember in your head, um, because it's not really a tumor, right? It's pressure that's causing you all sorts of issues, right? But um, idiopathic intracranial hypertension is obviously a better name for it because it is exactly what it says, right? Um, that you have some kind of intracranial pressure. So yeah, that's going to be your best answer, right? Because if you have pressure intracranially, your CSF is going to push into the cell atrisco, which compresses the pituitary gland. And if that's the case, then, um, then you know, that's going to uh, allow you to kind of have issues there.